turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am, to explain, to teach, create, again. Today, we're going to be doing a banana. I'm going to be trying to do a voiceover on this one to see how different it sounds and that you can actually hear me instead of yelling over the torch and the flame and the wind and all that sort of stuff. So, as you can see, the banana is the shape that we're going to be doing. I'm uh, using only a North Star yellow and a North Star white. The white is an older white that I had. I think they got it from when they were using and making strawberry red, but it, if it didn't strike, it always turned white. So that's what their one of the first North Star whites was, it was the strawberry red that went wrong. <laughs> But all you need is those two colors. And yes, you can make the same thing in clear if you wanted to. It's your preference. It would still come out looking like a banana if you use this style or method. And anyway, I just explained about the North Star White there. So <laughs> let's start it up. And sorry about might have to put on the glasses. Those are my didymiums that I made from lenses that I got on eBay and sunglasses that I got at the dollar store. Turned out really nice and they do do you justice if you want to do it the hard way. Or, you know, running things off a of budget. Now, you only need half of the banana white, which is the top that's showing. And the bottom half can still be yellow. So, basically, you're doing half of it white and half of it yellow. And right now, I'm just pulling off a little bit. And I'm going to keep the banana straight for the time being because it makes it easier to put the uh, the peelings on and with that you don't really need to have this heavy duty flame that I'm using you can still use a single flame to get the job done and right now I'm just going to I only put four peels on each banana you can put more if you wanted to but four does the job quite nicely, and that's what usually when you open a banana, I go one, two, three, four. So, and you don't really have to make the peel the exact same length as the banana, but if you wanted to get technical and make it that length, you're only giving the illusion of the banana, not the actual banana. And I sort of do the fold and pull when I'm making the peels so that they're a little bit more flat. But if you wanted to, you could add, flatten, and pull it out as, you know, if that makes it easier for you to make a flattened uh, part of the banana, just make sure you do flatten it out. Well, I just like to, you know, not have to put too many th tools in the flame if I don't have to. But to others, to make it look a little bit more authentic, that would be a way of doing it, is where you would just add a little blob to where I'm making each one of these peels, flatten it out, and then pull it out into the actual peel. Okay? Now I'm going to uh, wilt the peelings down a little bit so they're not pointing out as bad because I am going to be making this into a pendant and we shall see how that goes <laughs> um, I'm trying this camera angle and if you like it tell me about it and if you don't like it tell me about it uh, I so that you guys don't have to look at my messy bench <laughs> 
I have been doing a whole bunch of revamping of my whole work shed to make it a little easier for me to do some work out there. And it has been helping. I've been out there on average about 15 to 20 hours, even 30 hours more a week than I used to, which is a good thing. Because there have been times where I, I will only be out there about two, maybe three hours a night. And now it's almost double or three times that. So that's a good thing. Again, I just put a little bit of curve to the top white of the banana. I'm going to now probably put the the bale on there. And I usually do a clear bale. That way it's not distracting from the color of the banana. But if you have a, a, a certain type of bale that you put in there. Now I'm going to put this in between the crack of, or not crack, but the point of where the peel meets the uh, the banana. And I do it on the top part of the curve. And so it sort of curves around like a crescent moon, I guess. But you make sure it's sealed in well. You don't want to just stick it on there because that's exactly where it's going to break off later. If you look, if you think about it. And it's just a matter of making the loop. And my bales could be better. I admit it. But again, I'm concentrating on making something look pretty. But I guess in some people's eyes, part of it looking pretty is the bale. So maybe I'll work on those. But again, now to curve the bottom part of the banana, I just put a cold seal on the top of that banana to just uh, hold on to it for the time being. I'm heating up there for a minute and bending a couple of the peels a little bit more under so that they're not pointing outward because again this is a pendant you don't want to make things sharp and pokey as it were but and as you could see at the bottom of that rod it is yellow and where it got heated it turns red so once it cools down that banana will be a nice yellow color. And getting down to the nitte grete, tapping it off, fire polishing it. Always where you have a cold seal, make sure you fire polish because there will be a sharp little edge. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, carpe vitro and enjoy your day.